First, make sure you are connected on the router. It could be hardwire or on the Wi-Fi, it doesn't matter. Usually, the Wi-Fi password is package wireless. Then, log in to its IP address, 192.168.1.1. Refer to your manual for the username and password. The default for this one is the original admin, admin. Some other are package as username and package R for password. R like router. Once logged in, we felt on this quick setup page. From here, you can change the default password of your router or re-input admin to keep the original password. Lower, we then get the basic settings we might want to modify. 99% of the one connection works on DHCP, so you probably have to keep it that way. Otherwise, contact your internet service provider to get the info. On the LAN zone, I do a modification here because I was replacing a router that was on another range and it was easier to change it on the router instead of changing it on every static devices. You probably don't have to do it. Finally, at the bottom, we can find the info you probably want to modify. You can simply choose the SSID you want to broadcast and the password associated with it. You can name 2.4 and 5 GHz the same way. Basically, 2.4 GHz is a slow, long-range broadcast while the 5 GHz is a fast short range. Apply your settings and wait for the router to reboot. If you had changed the IP address as I did, you will have to input it in the search bar. Log in with your new credential. If there is an update available, do it. Agree terms and continue. Wait again for your router to reboot and we are done. So this is it. Thank you for watching. I hope it helps. If yes, please make a thumbs up. If you have any question, please ask in the comment below. I may simply answer you or even maybe make a video just for you. So don't forget to subscribe. And what you do see back there, it's from my main channel. So please come take a look at this right there. Thank you for watching again. See ya.